Hey guys, Denver James here, and I'm here to review the Takiya Cold Brew Coffee Maker. I'm gonna be breaking down how it works, what's great about it, what's not so great about it, and my overall thoughts on the product. If at any point you're interested in picking up this coffee maker, please be sure to check out the Amazon link in the description. If you click on it and make a purchase, it does give me a small commission, which is awesome. And as well, if you're interested in seeing more review videos like this one, please be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a single upload. Let's talk about how the coffee maker works. You're gonna start off by putting the desired amount of coffee grounds in the filter of the pitcher. The filter itself is removable, so you don't have to worry about getting grounds where your water is supposed to be. Then you'll screw the filter piece back into the lid for the pitcher. After this, you're going to fill up the pitcher with however much water you'd like. The pitcher itself holds about eight cups of water, but the instructions suggest doing seven because you have to account for the filter going into the pitcher. There's also a four cup version of this pitcher available on Amazon as well, so I'll put a link for that in the description. Once you've got your water and your grounds ready, you're you're gonna slowly dip the filter into the water inside the pitcher. Once you've dipped the filter in and you've screwed the lid on on top of the pitcher, you're gonna to wanna to swirl the water around for about 30 seconds to make sure that your grounds are properly saturated. Let the coffee pitcher sit in the fridge for anywhere from 12 to 24 hours, depending on the level of strength you want in your coffee and you're all set to go. Let's talk about what's great about this coffee maker. Considering the size of the pitcher and the filter that comes with it, I was really happy with the overall price for this coffee maker. You're gonna be able to get your cold brew fix on a day-to-day -day basis without breaking your bank account. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm very thankful that they have another variant size of this in case you wanna go smaller and save a couple extra bucks off the top. What I also really like about this cold brew coffee maker is it's light, glass-free, metal-free design. I don't feel like I'm gonna break it when I use it or put it down on a counter, so that's a relief and a comfort to me as a user. And lastly, what I like about this product is that it's easy enough to clean. With not a lot of tight places for the grounds to get to inside the pitcher, I was able to clean it out within seconds. Personally, I really like to save time, so I thought this was an awesome bonus. Let's talk about what's not so great about this coffee maker. I only have one major complaint. Despite being advertised as being able to brew seven cups of coffee, I was only to get about five out of it at the most. This was due to the fact that as I pushed the filter in filled with coffee grounds, it was also pushing out a lot of the water and couldn't contain it. In short, I was able to get five delicious cups of cold brew out of the thing, but not seven according to the advertisement. Despite that, overall, this is a decent and fully functional cold brew coffee maker. It was fast and easy to clean, it fits neatly and snugly into my fridge, and it didn't cost me an arm and a leg to pick up to begin with. All in all, I would get this same coffee maker again, but next time I wouldn't fill it up to seven cups of water. And hey, that's all I've got for you guys in my review of the Takiya Cold Brew Coffee Maker. Like I shared before, I'll have Amazon links for both versions of this cold brew coffee maker in the description of this video. I'll also drop a link for the Tarani pumpkin spice syrup for the coffee as well. And as well, if you'd like to see more review videos like this one, please be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a single upload. My name is Denver James. Thanks so much for watching this product review video. Take care and I'll see you around.